What's up, guys? It is currently 10.42 p.m. and you are watching another video of website development. Yay! This is going to be a quick video that goes over what margin and padding is. And what you've probably noticed when you're programming is that the websites you build might not be exactly how you want it to look like. And that might be a result of margin and padding. So I'm just going to go over that really quickly today. It's not too hard, but it may be critical if you're like not sure what the hell is wrong when you're building your website, even though you think you're doing everything right. So we're going to go over that and hopefully that'll make you guys like CSS a little bit more. Website building is going to be a lot less painful than it already is. Because I know when I started programming HTML, CSS, JavaScript, it was the CSS that was really the most painful part of making websites. So I'm here to teach you that so you guys don't have to spend hours crying in front of the computer like I did when I was learning. So yeah, let's get started with margin and padding. Basically, margin and padding, it is spacing around an element. So if you like think of a div, for example, margin and padding is the spacing around that div. Let's create this rectangle that will represent a div. And what margin is, first of all, margin is the spacing outside of this div. So it's what you would usually think spacing is like. This space right here, that is margin. And this is padding. Padding is the spacing inside the element. So it's the spacing around the div, but inside of it as well. Let's say this is your content here, content. And then this spacing all around the content, but inside the div, that is what padding is. So that right there is padding. And that's, that's basically it. <laughs> so yeah, um, yeah, let's open a v new VS code up and look at a live example. There is our local host and let's make this div to show you guys. Inside this div, let's put a content like, I don't know, hello Ryan, right? So we have this div and inside the div is a paragraph called hello line. And let me make this class like, let's say, let's say this is main div, okay? And inside here, we'll make main div and we'll give it an outline of one pixel solid red, which is basically a border, but it doesn't take space. And there is our div with a paragraph inside. So if I were to add a margin of like, I don't know, for example, 40 pixels, you'll notice that on the outside here, it just expanded by 40 pixels. So this is 40 pixels, this is 40 pixels, this down here is 40 pixels, and this to the right is 40 pixels. So if I hover over it in the inspect tool, you'll see that all this yellow spacing all the yellow spacing around here, you'll notice that that is margin. And as I explained earlier, inside the element is padding. So if I add a padding of 40 pixels like this, you'll notice that inside the element, all that purple is the padding. And basically that's how you uh, structure your elements. And basically that's how you can position your elements. And that's pretty much it. That's a really short lesson. Uh, one more thing to know, if you guys didn't catch in the last video is that I recommend you use wad card, margin zero, padding zero, because by default there is going to be margin and padding for all your elements. So as you see here, I removed the margin and the padding that is put on by default. But if I remove it, you're going to see there's a little bit of margin right here. You might not see it in the inspect tool, but there is default margin and default padding here. And once again, if I add the wild card of zero margin, zero padding, 
you'll notice that now it's absolutely on the top left corner. So that's it for today, guys. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll catch you in the next video.